So welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to be getting ready, but most importantly, we're going to be talking about transforming your life and being able to overcome self-doubt, self-fear in order to take total control of your life so that way you can be able to achieve anything that you want or desire. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be having that conversation while we are getting ready. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, then definitely stick around and let's get right into this video. <laughs> Okay, so where do we even begin? Because I have my makeup in front of me, right? And first off, <laughs> welcome to my channel. If it's your first time seeing me here, hi. My name is Kilichi Impermana. This is a cutting pad, by the way. I'm going to start off by cleansing my face because this is the first thing that I do. I'm fresh out of the shower. So this video is for my beautiful girls, beautiful women, beautiful ladies who are trying to embark on this transformational journey but are looking for inspiration, insights, tips, tricks, strategies on how to go about it. So when we talk about transformation, right? We're not just talking about the basic change, you know, just changing out your hair, changing out your clothes. We're talking about a holistic 360 drastic thorough change. We're talking about changing your entire essence, right? The outside and the inside, right? The way you think and how that affects your action. So it's not a one day thing. It's not a one hour thing. It's not a one week thing. It's a journey that you have to be on. So saying bye to the old you and welcoming and embracing and becoming the new you that you want to be. So we're going to get right into this video and talk about how to achieve that, things you can do, things that I'm currently doing in order to see that drastic change and transformation in your life. So that way you can be able to take control of your life. You can be able to get what you want and achieve anything that you desire. So the first thing you need to do is to acknowledge your present situation or your present condition or the present you to be honest, right? You want to see and you want to know what are your self-doubts? What are the things holding you back? Where are you at financially, mentally, physically? Every journey has a starting point. And this for me and this for you is your starting point. Sorry if I look ridiculous, but I'm currently trying to apply my SPF. <laughs> So this is your starting point. This is the first thing you need to do before you even decide to change or before you even start taking action. By doing this, you're literally stripping yourself naked. Well, not literally, but you are taking out layers of yourself that you might have covered or hidden. You want to see your true self. So in order to move forward, you need to assess your current situation and your current conditions. So you need to take responsibility of whatever your current situation is like, whether it's good or it's bad. You need to know and understand, but also accept the fact that you created the life that you currently have now, but also you have the power to really change it and transform it into something that you want or you desire or you need. And next up, something that I feel like is so important when it comes to taking control of your life, but also being able to overcome self-doubt and self-fear and you know the fear of failure and the fear of what would people think is most importantly believing in yourself right i believe that i'm strong i believe that i'm smart i believe that whatever journey you're on i believe that i'm capable of it because god has made you so unique and so powerful you just have to seek that power find it embrace it and keep using it right so you need to believe in yourself believe that okay this is not going to be easy and for me that is the first step towards overcoming self-fear because what usually hinders people's success is just their inner thoughts and their inner head and their self-disbelief and self-doubt and self-fear so when you start having those thoughts in your head oh my god can i really be who i want to be can i really be a millionaire whatever transformational journey you're on don't get in your head don't have those limiting beliefs because once it starts, you end up shutting yourself down before you even start embarking on that journey. 
and I see that happen a lot and it has happened a lot to me several times because I've had numerous business ideas and I keep doubting myself and keep thinking oh my god why do I think this is going to work for me why do I believe I'm going to be successful because there are a million and one people on this platform on whatever business journey you're on doing the same thing that you want to do because nothing is new under the sun right and then you start second guessing yourself and saying oh why am i going to be different why not why are you being you being yourself you are the difference you are all the difference that you need to make a difference right so you are that secret potion the secret ingredient not the idea that you have that idea you have is an idea that is already circulating right everyone probably has that same idea everyone has the idea to start up a youtube channel it's not a new thing everyone has the idea to start up a restaurant to start up a, a business a fashion line whatever it is but what makes that idea different is you what you are adding to it what you're putting into it right so if you ever feel like you're doubting yourself just think and know that i am that difference it might be saturated like everyone keeps saying but you know you can do it i can achieve it so let me tell you something eh no matter what journey you're on there is a gap there is a space for you there is an opportunity for you that only you can fill and you really don't realize this until you just take that leap and gamble on yourself and something that i pretty much always see on this channel i'm probably tired of hearing about this because you've probably heard this several times everywhere and that is to set goals because one how do you know what you want to achieve or who you want to be if you don't make it clear so you need to set a goal of things you want to achieve who you want to become what that looks like what that feels like the more clear and precise you are about the goals and what you want to achieve and where you want to be your end point easier it is to get there it's so vague to say things like i want to be successful or i want to transform myself into a successful woman what does a successful woman look like to you is it someone who is making seven figures who has kids who is living in a penthouse who is driving a certain type of car who has multiple businesses you need to be very specific on those kind of things so this is where i'm at this is where i want to be and these are the things i need to achieve in order to get there something else you need to try and do is to have a positive mindset in as much as you have a destination or a journey that you are currently trying to embark on you also need to be very grateful of where you currently are and what you currently have gratitude is so important on a success journey because in order to have more you need to be grateful for what you currently have and appreciate it and sometimes when it feels like you are reaching for more those negative thoughts tend to start creeping in what you need to do and i know this is not easy it's easier said than done what you need to do and should do immediately is to challenge those negative thoughts and replace them with positive affirmations things that would get you going stay motivated most importantly the things that you consume are you filling yourself with positive things things that would keep you motivated or are you f watching failures and people failing and things that would give you negative thoughts and things that would get you discouraged so what you consume or ultimately is really important on this journey something else you need to do and this is very uncomfortable especially if you're someone who has developed a routine or a habit or a way of life something you need to do if you really are truly seeking for transformation in your life and success is to break out of your comfort zone that place that business that sofa that bed that you're currently laying down on if you're 
doing that and watching this video you need to break out of that that home that house that apartment you're living in that you've not left in days that you feel like you're too comfortable in it those things that you've been doing if you're on youtube for instance and you're posting comfortably um once a week and you want to see drastic transformation or result you need to break out of what you're comfortable with what you're comfortable doing and that could be from posting once a week to posting twice a week from filming in your bedroom to maybe even filming in your living room doing something different right exploring try creating outdoor content mix things up with your editing if you have a comfortable editing style and you feel like you've been on this steady pace but you want to see something different do something different doing something different in order to see a different result so once you successfully set your goals you know where you are you know where you want to be something you need to do is to live in the present now don't worry yourself about the things that happened in the past your past failures you know where you've been and also don't get yourself worked up with the future as well don't overthink about the future don't stress about it as long as you have your goals and you're positive about it you're taking positive actions towards it what you need to do is to be present and to focus on the present because what you do now ultimately affects the future so you have to be active about it and you also have to be present about it at the same time because i see sometimes people stress a lot about they've determined where their destination is what their goals are and they stress so much about the future and the goals that they miss out on the actions that they could have and should have been taking right now perfect my face is looking snatched or we're in the process so while you are on this journey you also want to make sure that you're taking care of your health and your well-being now again in this journey you're going to need to take some stops to refresh yourself in order to continue on this journey right so it's just like if you are driving a car you're on a road trip right you have a destination you're heading to so once in a while you definitely want to make some stops to maybe refill the car to make sure that you know it has enough life to keep on going and that's what you need to do as well so you need to just you know make some stops but also refresh yourself right so make sure that you are taking care of both your physical and your mental health so you know eat right sleep well exercise if you have to you know meditate if you have to whatever it is to put you in that positive mental and physical health and state you need to be doing that right so take some breaks if you feel like you need to make some stops along the way to your journey and revive yourself okay because what you don't want to be doing is breaking down on your journey because that would only slow down your journey towards your transformation so make sure you're doing things that would keep you healthy physically and mentally so that way you are strong enough to continue going on this journey i feel like not a lot of people talk about this so things that would put you in a positive and healthy mental and physical state so something else that is really important on this journey is to surround yourself with positive people now we've been talking a lot about the self about you about how you affect your journey but now we're going to focus on how other people can impact can impede can you know affect the journey that you're on you need to surround yourself with people who can uplift you who can encourage you who can also support and motivate you in order to keep on moving and we fail to realize that your external environment things that happen around you things that happen where you are have a great impact 
on the self it has a great impact on you on your journey and there are only a limited amount of things that you can control and one of the external things that you can control are the people around you you can control you can move from that circle to a different one right okay so my last and i want to believe my most important tip when it comes to you know overcoming your doubt overcoming your self limitations as well as transforming your life so my most important tip has to be for you to celebrate your successes you need to celebrate where you're at and how far you've come because it takes a lot of hard work dedication perseverance to get yourself from point a to point b those little celebrations would make up and lead to the ultimate celebration of your accomplishments once you start appreciating the little things the little strides the little progress the big one would come and for me this also leans towards self-motivation by acknowledging how far you have come and the journey so far it keeps you motivated it keeps you going it keeps you energized because now you're seeing that there is possibility there is a future here and it is within your reach and i see sometimes a lot of people kind of put this off waiting till they get to the golden moment the ultimate reveal take time out and pat yourself in the back and tell yourself you're doing great and celebrate yourself and celebrate how far you've come and all the success that you've achieved because it is not easy the fact that you've taken one step forward towards the actualization and transformation of your life it's it's more than enough it's worth celebrating and it's worth being excited about so if you guys are on this journey first of all i'm giving you congratulatory clap because this is a journey that a lot of people dream about but only a few take the leap and take the steps towards you know actualizing it so i'm wishing you all the best all the success i also don't want you to just watch videos and watch this video and go back to your normal life i actually want you to implement and leave all that i've spoken about having said all that i wish you guys all the best this is the end of this video and also this tutorial let me know if you enjoy this type of content but also if you love these beats that we did because i'm in love with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll definitely see you in the next one but till then make sure that you are overcoming your fears and self-doubt and limitations and you are on that journey towards transforming your life and i'll see you guys in the next one like i always say make sure you stay fabulous and you stay blessed Mwah. hugs kisses and plenty loves bye guys